Oh, it's Pastor Ken from Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. I hope that uh, this first few days of the new year have been uh, wonderful days for you. I hope you had a wonderful uh, Christmas and uh, new year. I'm going to go off script uh, today. Uh, I'm not going to refer to any of the scriptures uh, in the Presbyterian uh, mission calendar. Uh, you can look those up if you'd like. And the reason for that is uh, today is um, celebrated by the church calendar as the epiphany of Christ. Epiphany is a word which means appearance. And we celebrate the appearance of Christ. We think he's around two years old at this point uh, to the Gentiles. And uh, his appearance to the Gentiles is represented by his uh, appearance or the visit of the Magi. Um, and so let me uh, read. You can read the whole story in Matthew 2, verses 1 through 12. I'll just read a few verses. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. It's a wonderful story that has uh, so many underlining uh, meanings to it, uh, not in any particular order of importance. It's amazing that God would choose Gentiles, pagan, astrologers, astronomers, scientists to um, uh, come to Jesus' second birthday party. And then God uses a star, natural revelation. Uh, something that we see each and every evening when we look up into the skies. There's many theories about the Star of Bethlehem. Uh, I'm not uh, really that concerned about which theory is right or wrong. All I know is that God, through natural means, have led these magi to Jesus, and they have a very clear purpose. They want to worship him. Uh, you, I'm sure you're aware of the rest of the story. Um, they come to Jerusalem, which makes sense because that's where a king would be born. They ask Herod, who is the ruler. He doesn't know. He gets his religious um, people, his uh, religious uh, experts uh, to meet the Magi. They find uh, this prophecy fulfilled in Micah 5.2, as Micah talks about where Jesus would be in Bethlehem in Judea. And from there, the Magi go to worship. We know that uh, Herod doesn't want any other king um, to uh, take over his throne. And we know the story after that about how Herod's hostility, hostility, hostility and uh, jealousy um, uh, makes him, puts him in a rage, and uh, he takes severe action. Uh, the story is a wonderful story about how God uh, uses um, the most peculiar ways to lead people to Jesus. Uh, he doesn't use the kind of means or ways that we would use. And that's what the story reminds us. But it also reminds us that the Magi are the ones in this story who show great faith. Herod, Herod is hostile to the coming of Jesus. The religious leaders are indifferent, and is the magi, the scientists, the pagans that show faith. Uh, Christmas is a story of how God continues to surprise us by how he leads people to Jesus. Uh, this, um, uh, during the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at uh, loving our neighbor and I know that God has probably some surprises for us of how we can do that. And I hope that all of us, as a part of Northminster or whatever church uh, you attend, uh, that you will look for ways to love your neighbor, uh, to lead them to Jesus, uh, the way that God led the Magi to Jesus. I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, keep safe, uh, be well, and blessings on you.